Welcome to History Summaries. In today's video, we delve into the life and legend of Uba the Viking, the brutal warrior behind the legend. Are you ready to uncover the fearsome tale of a Viking warlord whose name struck terror into the hearts of many? A chill wind howled across the North Sea, its icy tendrils reaching far and wide, carrying with it the echoes of a name that struck fear into the hearts of many. It carried a name on its icy breath, a name whispered with dread and awe, a name that would be remembered for generations to come. Uba, a Viking warlord forged in the fires of battle, his legend painted in the blood of kings. His story is one of relentless conquest and unyielding ferocity. He was a giant of a man, his presence commanding fear and respect. Wherever he went, his towering figure and fierce demeanor left an indelible mark on those who crossed his path. His axe, a whirlwind of death, carved a path of destruction across Anglo-Saxon England. With each swing, he brought devastation and despair to his enemies, leaving behind a trail of ruin. Uber, a son of thunder, a harbinger of chaos, his name synonymous with the Viking fury that engulfed a nation. His very presence was a storm, a force of nature that could not be contained. Uba was no mere raider seeking plunder. He was a visionary, a leader with grand ambitions that extended far beyond the spoils of war. He was a leader of the great heathen army, a force that aimed to conquer and crush the Christian kingdoms of England. This army under his command was a relentless tide, sweeping across the land with an insatiable hunger for conquest. Driven by ambition and a thirst for glory, Uber became a pivotal figure in the Viking Age, his actions echoing through history, forever shaping the destiny of England. His campaigns were not just battles, they were seismic events that altered the course of history. Uber's story is not one of simple brutality, though blood stains every page, it is a complex narrative woven with threads of ambition, loyalty and vengeance. It's a tale of ambition, of unwavering loyalty to his kin and the relentless pursuit of vengeance. His loyalty to his family and his people was unbreakable, driving him to the ends of the earth in their name. His name became a curse on the lips of the devout, a whisper of terror in the dead of night. To his enemies he was a nightmare, a relentless force that haunted their darkest fears. Uber, the Viking, a name etched in blood and legend. His legacy is one of power and fear, a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Viking warriors who carved their names into the annals of history. His legacy endures, a symbol of the Viking Age's raw power and unyielding spirit. Uber's story is a reminder of a time when the world trembled under the shadow of the Viking longships. And the name Uber was spoken with a mix of reverence and dread. The influence of Uba's life and deeds can still be felt today in the sagas and stories passed down through generations. His myth has grown, becoming larger than life, a beacon of the Viking spirit that continues to captivate and inspire. Uba's place in history is secure, his legend enduring through the ages. He stands as a towering figure in the annals of Viking lore, a testament to the fierce and unrelenting nature of the Norse warriors who once roamed the seas and lands of Europe. Even in his final battle, Uber's spirit remained unbroken. His ultimate fate, shrouded in mystery and legend, only adds to the mystique of his story. Whether he fell in battle or met his end through other means, his legacy was cemented in the blood and fire of his conquests. Uber's eternal legacy is one of power, fear and respect. His name will forever be remembered as a symbol of the Viking Age's might and the indomitable will of its warriors. The story of Uber is a saga of strength, ambition, and the relentless pursuit of glory, a tale that will continue to be told for generations to come. The icy plains of Scandinavia, a harsh and unforgiving land, birthed warriors of unmatched ferocity. It was here, amidst the fjords and forests, that Uber entered this world. His destiny entwined with the sea and the clang of steel, the saga's whisper of his youth, of trials endured and battles won, each victory forging him into a weapon of war. From a young age, Uber was no stranger to the brutal realities of Viking life. Uber's lineage remains shrouded in mystery, claimed by both history and legend. Some whisper of a connection to the legendary Ragnar Lothbrok, the infamous Viking king. Was he a son, a blood relative driven by the fires of vengeance? The tales of his lineage are as varied as they are intriguing. Or did Uba rise through the ranks on his own merit, a testament to his cunning and strength? Regardless of his lineage, Uba's prowess as a warrior could not be denied. 
he rose to prominence within the great heathen army, a force comprised not only of Danes, but also Norwegians, Swedes, and even Frisians. This diverse coalition of warriors, each bringing their own unique skills and traditions, created a formidable force. The great heathen army was not just a military force, it was a melting pot of Viking cultures and ambitions. They strategized, trained, and fought together, united by a common goal. This melting pot of cultures and ambitions sought to carve a kingdom from English soil, and Uber, with his unwavering ruthlessness, would be their blade. His leadership and ferocity in battle were unmatched, making him a key figure in the Viking campaigns in England. Uber's tactical brilliance and relentless drive made him a feared and respected leader. His influence on the battlefield was profound, shaping the course of many battles. The legacy of Uber is one of strength, cunning and an unyielding spirit. His story is a testament to the indomitable will of the Viking warriors whose legends continue to captivate and inspire to this day. Uber's impact on history is undeniable and his tale is one that will be told for generations to come. As we look back on the origins of this formidable warlord, we are reminded of the harsh and unforgiving land that shaped him and the indomitable spirit that drove him to greatness. The story of Uber is not just a tale of a warrior, it is a saga of resilience, ambition and the relentless pursuit of glory. The year was 865 AD. A shadow fell upon the shores of England, a vast fleet of longships, their prows adorned with fearsome beasts. The great heathen army, led by Ivar the Boneless and his brother Ubba, had arrived. No longer content with mere raids, they sought conquest, their eyes set on the wealthy kingdom of East Anglia. Terror preceded them. Tales of their brutality, their unyielding savagery, spread like wildfire. Villages were put to the torch, monasteries ransacked, their inhabitants put to the sword without mercy. The Anglo-Saxon kingdoms, weakened by internal strife, seemed powerless to stop the tide of Viking fury. Uba, a storm of violence given human form, reveled in the chaos. He led from the front, his axe cleaving through enemy ranks, his voice a roar that spurred his warriors to greater acts of savagery. The English lands ran red with the blood of their defenders, a testament to the Vikings' unquenchable thirst for victory. Section 4. Blood on the Altar, the Martyrdom of King Edmund. In the annals of history, few tales are as poignant and stirring as that of King Edmund, the young ruler of East Anglia. His story is one of unwavering faith, unyielding courage and ultimate sacrifice. The young King Edmund of East Anglia, devout and unprepared for the Viking onslaught, became a symbol of resistance. His kingdom, a serene and devout land, was suddenly thrust into chaos as the Viking hordes descended upon it with merciless ferocity. He refused to flee, choosing to stand against the invaders, his faith, his shield. Edmund's resolve was not just a testament to his personal beliefs, but also a beacon of hope for his people, who looked to him for guidance and strength in those dark times. The Vikings, ever pragmatic, offered him a choice. Renounce his god and rule as their puppet, or face the consequences. This was a common tactic used by the invaders, who sought to break the spirit of their enemies by forcing them to abandon their faith and principles. Edmund, his spirit unbroken, chose defiance. He knew that to accept their offer would be to betray everything he stood for, and he could not bring himself to do so. His decision was not made lightly, but it was made with a clear understanding of the consequences. The sagas paint a vivid picture of his demise. They tell of a king who stood tall in the face of insurmountable odds, whose faith never wavered even as the shadows of death loomed ever closer. His story has been passed down through the generations, a testament to his enduring legacy. Captured and bound, he was mocked for his faith, his spirit tested with each passing moment. The Vikings sought to break him, to make an example of him, but Edmund remained steadfast. His tormentors could not understand the depth of his conviction, the strength of his belief. Uba, ever the pragmatist, may have offered him a final chance to recant, to save himself and his kingdom. This was a moment of intense pressure, a final test of Edmund's resolve, but the young king's answer was unwavering, a reflection of his unbreakable spirit. Edmund's answer echoed across the ages, I would rather be a king in heaven than a slave on earth. These words spoken in the face of certain death have resonated through history, a powerful declaration of faith and defiance. 
His words enraged the Vikings. They could not comprehend such steadfastness, such unyielding faith. Their fury was a testament to the power of Edmund's words, which struck at the very heart of their ambitions. They fell upon him with a fury born of scorned pride, turning him into a pincushion with their arrows. Each arrow was a symbol of their frustration, their inability to break the spirit of a man who stood resolute in his beliefs. As Edmund breathed his last, legend claims a wolf sent by God guarded his body. This wolf, a divine protector, watched over the fallen king, ensuring that his sacrifice would not be forgotten. It is said that the wolf's presence was a sign of Edmund's sanctity, a symbol of his martyrdom. Edmund, the martyr, his name forever entwined with the brutality of the Viking invasion. His story is a reminder of the power of faith, the strength of conviction, and the enduring legacy of those who stand firm in the face of overwhelming odds. King Edmund's martyrdom is not just a tale of death, but a story of eternal life, a beacon of hope and inspiration for generations to come. Section 5. Echoes of Carnage, Whispers of Further Atrocities. Uber's name, already synonymous with bloodshed, became stained with further atrocities. The monasteries of England, repositories of wealth and faith, became targets for his brand of ruthless pragmatism. The monks of Lindisfarne, their island sanctuary, no protection against Viking longships, were massacred, their treasures plundered. One tale, whispered with a mixture of horror and disbelief, speaks of the fate of Abbess Ebba of Coldingham. Faced with the prospect of violation at the hands of Uber's warriors, she urged her nuns to disfigure themselves, cutting off their noses and lips to become undesirable. Whether true or a product of later chroniclers, the story cemented Uber's reputation as a figure of terror. It served as a warning, defy the Vikings and face consequences too horrific to contemplate. If you found this story intriguing, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification button so you never miss an update. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment below.